Ah, we are talking about conscious uncoupling and the topic for this video is what if your ex doesn't share a conscious uncoupling intention? You know, the, when you decide to go into conscious uncoupling and, and bring awareness and bring clarity and consciousness into that experience, you know, your ex might be aligned with a different set of values, which is like, she wants to be aggressive or she wants to attack you or she wants to publicly shame you or do things like that. You know, that's her choice. She has the right to do that if she wants to, and it's very hard to control. You can invite her into a space, into a space of respect, into a space of uh, diplomacy, into a space of uh, care and love for each other. You can do that. But if they don't want to play that game, you know, what are you going to do? What you have to do is very simple. It is that you sustain what is in your truth. If your value, your core value is respect, the fact that that person is disrespecting you doesn't mean that you have to disrespect them. You stick to your value, to what's true to you. If they start aggressing you or attacking you, then you're going to stick to being at peace and simply put walls or boundaries or limits that protect you. But eventually, you know, their choice or the way they engage into this uncoupling experience is up to them. And the ideal would be like, you both join forces into a conscious uncoupling experience where you hold the space for this transition to happen. But suppose that you have this beautiful conversation, you know, you have this beautiful conscious uncoupling experience, and then, you know, your ex goes and attacks you, fights with you, or takes you to court the day after. You know, what are you going to do? So sustaining those values is very important. And uh, I know that, uh, you know, when somebody in your field is bombarding you with aggressive energies and attacks and making you feel really unsafe, then, uh, yeah, you know, the, the, uh, the values that you have to embrace is go a little bit more into battle mode, but it doesn't mean that you have to shift your values. It doesn't mean that you have to go and play their game. You can play your game. You can keep on aligning yourself with the conscious um, uncoupling values that you anchor, you know, which might be, again, respect, care for each other so on and uh, if that person is refusing or not wanting to play that game you you invite them into that space but you don't go and play their fighting game because this is not your truth you know if your truth is to go and fight that's great but um the idea is what is real to you what is your truth and stick to that no matter what they do okay that's the idea